So it's no surprise to anybody that the decoy industry is a very competitive market. Um, and while Brooke and I and everybody else here obviously think that we produce the best decoy, we always try to test ourselves just to kind of keep up to snuff on everything. So behind us, this is this is a Higdon farm. We've had 60 to 62 dozen decoys out for coming up on 100 days now. So what we've done is I've went and pulled some decoys that we've hunted with. Scum line, this old guy right here, he's a warrior. The majority of these have been shot. Obviously, they're not going to sink. But Brooks got brand new decoys out of the box, out of the plastic wrapper, and we're just going to see how they compare. If you're going to invest your money, you need to invest your money wisely. You need to get decoys that aren't going to fade. So here's two. They've been out for 100 days, and there's the paint. You can see the paint compared to the brand new ones. There's no fading. There's no discoloration. The flocking's still 100%. 100%. You know, you can realistically look at about three years of hard hunting. You'll need to look at replacing your flocked head. But the actual meat on the bone, the actual paint on your decoys, it's going to last a really long time. For sure. And just like Boone said, you know, these decoys have been out here almost 100 days now. Um, we're realists. You know, we've got a, a farm here. We want to put out 60 dozen decoys. We're not going to pick them up every day and set them back out. So these decoys weather the storm. Uh, they sit out here all day and we wanted to make a decoy that one didn't fade, two wouldn't sink. That way we could hunt over them all season long, not having to worry about pulling sunk decoys out, worry about paint flaking, chipping. You know, we can really hunt over these decoys several more years before there's any indication that they're not brand new. Other than the scum line on these decoys, um, they're huntable. You know, they're great. They're brand new product minus the holes and, and the scum line on the bottom. All right. So, and like, and like Brooke was saying, we, we bring a lot of people through this blind to hunt with us be it clients, friends, whatever. And, and the last thing you want to say is, hey, be careful, don't shoot the decoys. Yeah. You're bringing them to the Higdon farm, you've got foam field, they need to be able to shoot the decoys. So that's what they're here for. I mean, these, these decoys get hunted. All you guys that run guide services or outfitters or even just your anybody, your average guy like ourselves, yeah. if you're gonna invest your money, get something that is an investment. You know, they're not, you're not going to have to replace them every other year or every three or even five years. You buy them, you hunt over them, we can have all these cleaned up in a matter of minutes with a little brush and have the scum off and they're ready for a multitude of years more service. Yep, they're tools, uh, just like your shotgun or just like your duck call. You need to be able to rely on these decoys just like your customers or your friends that hunt with you need to rely on you. And uh, we truly feel like we've made that product. Buy Higdon, buy Foam Field, save money. That's the name of the game. You heard it here, not first, but you heard it here second. <laughs>